everyone. I've got a beautiful project to work on today. I'm really excited about this one. It's a beautiful serving tray. Amazing thing about this one, it's, it's got this natural hole which we're gonna fill with layers and layers of crystal clear resin. It's going to look beautiful when it's done. So because this is raw wood, uh, wood is so porous, it tends to really, really soak up the resin. So what we're gonna do is put a really thin um, pre-coat of resin with a gloved hand, and when that dries, then we're gonna be able to put our final coat on. It's gonna look amazing. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is mix up our resin. And because I'm using a gloved hand uh, for this pre-cut, we don't need a huge amount. So I'm just using these little plastic glasses here and I'm gonna mix it up in this glass with a popsicle stick. Resin here. Okay, now our hardener. So we've got level amounts here. All right, so now I've got my plastic cup. I'm gonna pour both these guys in here. We gotta stir for three minutes, making sure that we scrape the bottoms and sides as always. We don't want any unmixed resin. So you might notice uh, on my surface here, I've got a shower curtain. We use tablecloths or shower curtains, they work equally well. Uh, the great thing about it, they are not expensive, so you know you can use them a few times and, and dispose of them if necessary. But the great thing about it is when the resin drips um, and cures, you can just peel it right off. Like how easy is that? It's not gonna stick to anything. So it's a really, really handy thing to have on your work surface. When your hand starts cramping, then you know you've mixed enough. Good. So we have our wood here, and I just wanted to show you, we've got the tray on these little painter's um, supports here, and we've also got some shims. These are super handy to keep, and what we use them for is just adjusting. You can put them in on each corner and just adjust the height as you need to, according to your level. So what I'm actually gonna do is flip it over, and I'm gonna start with the back. And the reason I'm gonna do that is I'll end with the top of the tray, and then any drips are gonna drip below. Okay, so I'll just flip it over here and with a gloved hand. This is the fun part. And like I said, this raw wood is just going to soak up this resin. So I'm going to make sure I do the, uh, the sides here as well. And the reason for that, because wood is so porous, it's really affected by um, humidity and moisture. Um, so if this tray happened to get wet and the sides weren't sealed, it would absorb the moisture. You'd get expansion and contraction. You might get cracking. Uh, even warping possibly. So we're just going to seal it and make sure it's completely water and airtight. Look at how beautiful and rich the wood looks when you put the resin on. It just glows. It's so beautiful. And then uh, my finger's too big to fit right inside these crevices, so I'm going to use this brush here just to make sure it is completely sealed. Okay, now we're ready to flip. So same thing on this side. Just make sure this is totally covered here. Okay, so I think I've got every little crevice here with the brush. So normally at this point, obviously our next step would be to, um, to torch out bubbles, but I'm not gonna do that because wood is gonna off gas like crazy. So I'm gonna torch this and two minutes later, there's gonna be lots and lots of micro bubbles anyway. At this point, these tiny little micro bubbles don't, don't matter. So don't worry about them right now. We're gonna sand down the whole thing, both sides, but I'll show you that at the next stage. 